What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. We are pumping out the gameplays uh this this uh this season or this rotation uh, this this new set. We get to play a lot more stuff and I'm excited about it. So, uh we're playing some jank today though. Uh if I'm honest, this one's very very uh ambitious uh, is what we're going to say. So, this whole thing is a combo deck. Uh, this pile of cards makes a little bit of a combo. So the idea is we get Storm Herald out after putting something like Colossification into the graveyard using things like Thrill of Possibility or Cathartic Reunion. Uh, then hopefully we have one of two ways to actually finish it. So one way is just a fling. Uh, we can just fling it at the opponent, deal well over 20 damage to them, and win. Or we can untap it once this comes into play on this. Uh, we do have to untap the creature, otherwise it goes away. And then uh, we give it Trample or something along those lines with Satessin Training. And then we win that way. Uh, we also have this as a way to give us some trampling. So this whole deck is silly. Basically, it's all centered around that combo, though. Footfall Crater, a uh, very quick way to give something Trample. You can get it out early if you've already got one cycle it it's a free cycle very very easy uh so putting this on a land turn one just guarantees that you don't have to have the satessin training to actually swing in for the win uh in the two drop slot we have runaway steamkin so partially just because we need creatures to keep ourselves alive uh but also what's really nice you're playing a lot of these like thrill of possibility cathartic reunion cards and so you get counters on this that help you build up the mana and hopefully play this and maybe even kiora in the same turn uh so it just gives you a way to hopefully combo off a little bit quicker uh, as we said, Cathartic Reunion and Thrill of Possibility, all here to discard things like Colossification from our hand, uh, so we can get it in the graveyard, but then draw ourselves into Storm Herald or Kiora or whatever we happen to need. Uh, Fling, a separate way to win, as we already talked about, you just sacrifice the Storm Herald with Colossification attached, deal a ton of damage, win that way. Uh, Satessin Training, a way, uh, another option to ditch into the graveyard, first of all. Uh, and another way to uh, build up the power on this and then give it trample if you need to swing in with it. Uh, not only that, but it does draw you a card. So even if you have to just hard cast it, for instance, it's cool because it replaces itself. Uh, the Binding of the Titans, very, very strong in this deck. You put three cards in your graveyard, exile two cards from uh, graveyards for each creature card exiled. This way you gain a life. So keeps us alive a little bit. And then return target creature or land card from your graveyard to your hand. So if you happen to hit a Storm Herald, it's fine. You get to bring it back. Uh, Storm Herald is the big key card, so we'll talk about it in a second. Kiora literally just here to untap permanents, uh, in particular the Storm Herald. Colossification, obviously entirely meant to go straight into the graveyard and then attach to the Storm Herald when you play it. So here's the whole thing, though. Storm Herald is the, the, the key. This is the whole thing. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. That can be any creature, so it can be literally anything. Uh, exile those at the beginning of the next end step. Ideally, you won't ever get there. Uh, if those auras leave the battlefield, exile them instead of putting them anywhere else. So the idea is, after ditching all these cards, you play the Storm Herald. They all come back onto either the Storm Herald or whatever other creature you've got. And then, like I said, you can either swing in uh, if you've got Kiora out, or you can just fling for the win. Uh, we're running 22 lands. We've got 4-4 four, four, and 4 for the uh, special lands, and then just 4 forests and 6 mountains. We really, really want more mountains than anything else here, uh, keeping in mind that we, we never pay the actual cost for this. Our curve out is at 3. Uh, and so this... I guess technically, like, there might be a way to do this on turn four, I think. If you got really lucky, maybe turn, it's a turn four, turn five kind of thing. Um, but most likely, it's much later than that. So I'll go into this saying I'm not expecting to really win. Um, <laughs> but if we can pull it off once, that's our goal. We're, our goal is to pull it off just one time. If we can do that, then I will be very, very happy. Uh, also, I'm downloading so I can edit the previous, the Is It Phoenix uh, number two. We've been 
seriously pumping out some gameplay with this uh, this new set, uh, and I'm really, really stoked about it. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Um, doesn't have a lot of the key cards, but uh, it does have enough that, you know, Binding of the Titans, for instance, we can kind of get there with that if we need to. Um, hopefully. We shall see. Uh, I do think I lean more towards the Binding of the Titans first, um, most of the time, over, like, Runaway Steamkin. Uh, obviously, this is an easy ditch to thrill, uh, but really we want to be ditching a Colossification if we can. So we will see what we get. Um, I'm really, really excited for this new set, guys. It's so much fun. Uh, I've been playing practically nonstop for quite some time, um, <laughs> as you guys have pretty much seen all day. Um, but it's really, really fun to play new sets. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. Also, uh, we replaced the background image uh, on all of our stuff with the uh, the Aquaria image. So I'm really stoked about that as well. It gives it a new, fresh look. Uh, our opponent here, just kind of chilling. Uh, we'll see what they're doing here. Hopefully they're not going to either just ditch or, or time out. Uh, certainly hope not. Um... Also, I guess while we're waiting, uh, two things. One, uh, our Patreon link. Uh, hopefully you saw the ad at the beginning of the video. Um, the Patreon link is just down below the gameplay, so if you do want to check it out, please do. The rewards are cycling, so you can certainly see those right now. Uh, if you are interested in picking any of those up, uh, you can do so. I'm going to keep fling. Um, you can do so uh, at that link, so please, please check that out. Certainly would appreciate it. Uh, let's pay two here and let's binding of the titans. See what we get. Wow, all draw spells. Interesting. Okay, so what are we what are we dealing with? Gate stack. Actually, oh, that's pretty good. Um, let's get rid of those. Let's thrill with possibility. And we will. We'll go ahead and do this. Deck thinning is important. Get our mountain. Uh, we really want more heavy red than we do green. As long as we have at least a little bit of green, we're, we're probably fine there. <clears throat> and we get that back. That's kind of nice. Um, okay, so... Let's Fabled Passage again. Uh, again, we'll probably just get a red. Let's run away Steamkin. And then let's Cathartic Reunion with both of the Satessan trainings here. Um, okay, so here we do have the combo next turn. Um, assuming they can't counter it, we're, we're going to win. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna do it, guys. That's really cool. Um, this is one of the decks I'm considering for the JDC, which is the other thing that I wanted to talk about. The JDC, if you don't know what that is, uh, it's a new series that Will and myself have started. Uh, it's the Jank Deck Competition, so the whole plan is to, uh, just play silly stuff. It's literally it. We're in it for the fun. Uh, fortunately, there's a lot of fun to be had, and, uh, we did episode one uh, just the other day. It was amazing. We had a really, really good time. Uh, and the plan now is pretty much we just want to break MTG, uh, MTGA. Uh, almost said MTGO. Um, and let's fling it. We did the thing. That's it. That's the combo. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> um, that's the whole thing. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. So... Let's, let's see if it works two more times. Uh, we're going to do the normal three game thing. Uh, so this is one of the decks though that I'm considering playing for that uh, series solely because this is a very jank combo. I mean, it's silly, right? Like it's not, it's really not that good, uh, but it is quite fun. Uh, and it's a little bit faster than the combos that we, we both played with in the episode one. So I'm going to push it a little bit if I play this, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, I do have another deck in the wings uh, that I'm also quite excited about. Is this keepable? I don't think so. 
that's a pretty bad hand. Uh, this is better. Not amazing, but definitely better. Uh, I actually think we tuck back the Kiora. Uh, we've got the Fling, so I think we're more on the Fling plan than the Kiora plan. The Kiora plan is a little bit slower. Um, and I think if since we are on the Fling pa plan, we can uh, we can cycle the the crater. Um, or just keep it for cathartic uh, reunion. As just a discard. Um, nah, I think we just cycle it, right? Get further in the deck. That's our plan. Um, this, I mean, this has potential to be a very good, good hand here. Um, let's go ahead and cycle this bad boy. Get that out of there. See what we draw. Dig a little deeper. Second fling. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to do this now. I'm going to discard these two. Wow, seriously. <laughs> what in the world? Uh, well, we kind of showed our hand a little bit with the fling, but that's okay. Um, we'll see what they're going to do. Uh, that's ridiculous. What in the world? We are drawing nothing but land. Okay, well, that's not good for us. I mean, I'm really glad we cycled the, the crater just to get through our deck a little bit. Holy crap. Um, man, this is such a fun deck, though. Uh, I did playtest this one just a little bit uh, to, to kind of fine-tune it. I initially um, was entirely on the Kiora plan, and then I was like, wait, fling is in standard. Why would I, why would I not just fling it? Uh, and so, oh, that is bad. That's so bad. No, I don't like that. Um, okay, well, that's shutting us down pretty heavily. We really need a runaway Steamkin then, um, or something that can pressure this. Storm Herald does pressure this. Uh, whenever they cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna just storm herald here. Um, we're in it for the long game. That, that doesn't do anything. Um, <laughs> let me get rid of this. Um, we have to be really careful about uh, narsets. Narsets are bad. Fires. Yep. I assume they're going to play the Whirlwind. Yep. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, man, we have drawn nothing but land. That is ridiculous. Uh, I mean, we swing in here, but we are not in good shape. Uh, if we do draw a Colossification, we can just straight up play it on the Storm Herald and then next turn just fling. My assumption is they've got stuff like Teferi, though, so they could just bounce it, uh, which would kind of suck. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So they got, what, one more play? I'm not going to completely auto-pass here. Uh, there is a very definite p possibility that they, like, shatter the sky, in which case I'm flinging this. <laughs> like, 100%. We are getting rid of Narset. That is a card we cannot deal with. Yep. Good, good. Might as well at least get something out of it. Um, yep. <laughs> well, here we are, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna probably lose. <laughs> There's very little possibility of us winning this game. Um, hey, we won once. I'm pretty happy we won at least once. Uh, this deck I did not expect to win at all. This was built solely for the JDC, so this was not meant as like a, hey, let's let's be serious deck. Um, absolutely not. That was not what this was for. <laughs> sure. I've been dealing with all these Narsets. Two of them down. Oh, they've got... Oh. Oh, this is just Jeskai Walkers. Well, now wonder. Cool inclusion with Whirlwind of Thought. <laughs> well. I mean, it's a card, but, like, it doesn't, doesn't do anything, guys.
like, I'm gonna attack here, but this is just so bad. We don't really care about the opponent's life total, I should say, because, again, our deck is looking to get rid of it all in one shot. So I'm looking more to deal with all these little planeswalkers um, and not worry so much about, you know, their their actual life total. Now, here, they've just got Sarkon. There's really not much I can do. Um, I mean, I don't think there's a single card that digs us out of this because we can't draw anything. They now have a blocker. Okay, yeah, I'm conceding. Let's go ahead to game three. Uh, that was very unfortunate, though, especially considering how many lands we drew. I, I think that was a bit of an anomaly. Um, considering we're a little bit low on lands, too, I would not have expected us to, to get that many. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how game three goes. Uh, either way, we got one win with it, and that's all I could ask for. Um, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, this is a very silly, very, very fun deck, though, I will say. Uh, I like it quite a lot. Um, this hand kind of sucks, too. I mean, I'm going to keep it because we got the double runaway Steamkin. Uh, we're on the draw. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Ooh. Okay, each permanent in your starting deck has converted mana cost two or less. Wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. I love seeing what uh, what kinds of decks people are coming up with here. There's a lot of really cool stuff, uh, without a doubt. Um, so I'm very excited. Let's go ahead and thin the deck a little bit. Um, yes, it would be optimal to do this on their end step. No, I don't care. <laughs> um, not right now. Each player puts top card. That's not actually bad for us, considering we have the Storm Herald in hand. Um, which is oven. Cauldron Familiar. So they've just got copycat combo. Okay. Not copycat combo, excuse me. Just cat combo. That's fine. Uh, play you. Play you. Now at this point, normally, if they did not see my graveyard, they would be thinking, hey, this mono red player had a bad start. Why did they keep that hand? Um, obviously they know we're not mono red, but, uh, yep. I really kind of just hope they, they get the, <laughs> another Colossification. Like, please, by all means. Obviously, no, I'm not going to block here. There's no point. Pass. Pass priority. You can do it. Do the thing. Okay. Yeah. No blocks. Um, what are we looking to do? What'd you hit? Man, another Binding of the Titans. Okay. That's fine. Um, what do we want? A cathartic reunion or like thrill of possibility would be great to get this in the graveyard. But then hopefully that would also draw us into like a fling. Um... What we have to be very conscious of, though, is that, you know, they are gaining life, so we got to be a little bit careful. Let's go ahead and binding. I want to kind of get cards in the graveyard here. Uh, good. Classification in the graveyard. Now we literally just need fling. Um, we also need them to not... Not gain too much life. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe we'll get another classification in the graveyard. Then we can hit for 40 something. Um, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, they're discarding three cards from the top of our deck every turn now. Uh, not to mention, I mean, well, this happened once, so we're not going to get it again. But if we get any more auras in the graveyard like we're not in bad shape not in great shape but we're not in bad shape we do technically have the potential to attack in with the uh, runaway steam can at some point too um very unlikely we're really gonna get there with that but you know it's a possibility not gonna block 
It's a cool deck built around uh, Luris. I feel like against a normal, like, truly competitive deck, though, I, I don't know that this has the legs. Only because, uh, like, any any kind of true... Um, we'll exile you and you. Gain a couple. Um, there's a lot of things that I feel like could beat this, is what I was going to say. Uh, within the, the realm of true, you know, good magic decks. Um, yeah, I'm going to play this out here. We're going to get the counters on. Uh, we're going to do this, and then we're going to Cathartic Reunion. Um, discarding those. So now, we not only have a blocker for the 3-2 in particular. Uh, oh, we needed a fling. Really needed a fling. Um, well... Puts us in bad shape, I'll be honest. Um, that was kind of the turn that we needed the fling. Um, I was thinking we I mean that that was a pretty good shot at getting one, so I'm not I'm not upset. It's not like we we did anything wrong. Um but you know, there's not much we can do. Do we have so we do have two Colossifications in there, so no matter how much life they gain, we are fine. We can kill them if we get the fling. Um it's just a matter of we actually gotta get the fling. Um, do we have, what creatures do we have? None. So we're just getting a land next turn. Wow. Okay. A lot of eye collectors. Um, yep. Not going to attack with that. Sure. That's fine. Just don't, don't get rid of a fling. Give me a fling, please. Please, please, please. One time. Fling one time. In the next two cards, we could get a fling and still win, right? No, it would have to be in the top card. Okay, that is not a fling. <laughs> hmm. Well, I think we just lose, right? Like, they've got a lot of damage coming through. Um, hmm. I wish we could have done it. I don't think we can do it, though. I'm just going to do this and draw the card and see what we get. I think we lost, though. If this is a flame, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> Uh, no. Okay. Um, they've got two witches ovens. I'm going to play this out here. I'm not going to attach anything to this. Um, I'm going to save it on some weird off chance that we actually, <laughs> we actually make it next turn. Um, No, I guess, yeah, because we do have the three counters on here. So within the next two cards, we could have gotten it. And we sh we could have still won, but no, that's not the case. I'm going to submit zero. I'm not going to do that. Um, and I'm going to pass. See if we can make it another turn. Um, yep, that's fine. Do the thing. I really doubt we can make it another turn. So we're taking four in the air, and then they've got two witches ovens, right? So they they just get us. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. They they, I can't imagine a world where they don't see that. Uh, unfortunately, we only got one win, but we did get to see how the deck works, and that's the fun part of this one. Um, I don't know if I'll do another another deck or another gameplay video with this one. I just think it's a fun one to actually show up. Uh, I'd like to try some more decks though. So if you've got a deck list of any kind, uh, standard-wise, uh, please send it to me. I would love, love to test it out. I do appreciate everybody watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please check out our links, our Instagram, and our Patreon are down below. We also have our website, itresolvesmtg.com. Uh, we'd certainly appreciate it if you would check that out as well. So thank you guys again. I will see you very, very soon in the next gameplay video.